Yes, the Reds, it's the Anfield Rap post-match pint after Liverpool 2, Fulham 1. I'm Neil Docking here with Phil Blundell, Kev Walsh. It didn't look like it was going to be a good evening for the Reds for long periods. The centenary heard some language from me that I'm not sure it's heard in a long time. Most of it invo involving coot. <laughs> <laughs> a word that sounded a bit like that as well. <laughs> but in the end, we make two substitutions and those two substitutes, they tear Fulham apart and we get two good goals and we go down now for the second leg with a good chance of progressing to Wembley. Yeah, the, the substitutions really changed it. There's, I thought the first 55 minutes was, was really quite bad. Not like a sort of, ah, oh, you can... I, I don't think there's anything you could have said where it was like, oh, well, we did this, right, we did that, right, we were slow. We were far too methodical. We were... It was very easy for them to defend, I thought. I thought it was sort of... It, not a Jota, not... I thought Jota was the problem without being the problem, if that makes any sense. And I'll sort of explain that's what I mean by that is we were asking him to do things in a setup that just aren't for him. Because he wasn't getting the service. So he's he's a, I think he's a player that thrives off service and having people around him and a little bit of sort of being able to go one way or the other and open up half a yard of space and the ball was nowhere near him. When he got the ball, he's got two massive centre halves near him. He's got no one to pass to. There wasn't the movement got, ahead of him. No, was there? there's, there's just nothing about it. And I don't it wasn't a coincidence that when we got men around him and got him involved in the game, things just looked a lot better. It just the substitutes changed it. I mean there was a mad period for about probably between the subs happening and us scoring where it looked like we were 3-0 down with about five minutes to go <laughs> yeah. because it was like we were going well we're going to try and score but you might get a one-on-one -on -one here lads yeah. if you get a one-on-one -on -one, just that's part of what we're doing we you know, know, he must have thought well was and he'll be alright like it, it was just a bit mad but you know thankfully we've got a result that you would have taken before the game obviously I think we all wanted like two goal lead three goal lead but we're in a good position here and we go down there and we know what we've got to do. Yeah, there was, there was a period when we were going hell for leather. We were leaving ourselves wide open at the back and they've got some real quality Fulham. Once again, William, I don't care how old he is. Someone like, said to me, how the fuck is that cunt still scoring like, goals against us? He's been doing player, it since though. I was about 11. I'm, yeah. I'm fucking 40, you know what I mean? How's <laughs> still going him? To be fair, he, he's, he is fucking yeah. classic. Ever he? since I think it was Benitez who tried to sign him, for God's sake. <laughs> it was Rafa who Roy tried Evans, to it was, man. Come on, fucking God. Yeah, he's got, they've got some real quality. Uh, Decova Reed, uh, Harrison Reed in the middle. I love him and S. I love like what an aggressive narc he is. I mean, he always jumps early, like makes sure he gets an elbow in and then hangs in the air for like half an hour. Yeah. So they were dangerous. And then after the substitutes, it took us a little while to settle down. But then when he settled, the movement of Nunes and Gakpo switching flanks and then Jota dropping deeper, picking those spaces, using the ball really intelligently. They just couldn't live with it. And in the end, I actually thought, maybe we'll get the third in, maybe we'll get the fourth, maybe we'll end this. To be fair, we weren't far off getting a third, fourth, and maybe even a fifth. Nunes, we, we were saying off camera, he's, he's come on, he's really affected the game. So I'm like, he's played really well on these points. And then I'm looking at certain other things he's doing, and I'm going, come on. But he's that type of player, isn't he? You're never going to get a game. Or you, you probably get one in ten where you're like, wow, unplayable, whatever he does. The rest of the time, you've got to just realise sometimes, like, like um, what the lads used to play for AC Milan and Rangers, sometimes maybe good, sometimes maybe shit. <laughs> that, that probably sums him up. But it, like, he was excellent. I thought Jota, as you were saying, Phil, when he was like the furthest forward man, he just, as you said, the two centre half just contained him. Second half, once we've made the substitutions and we probably ran the legs off them a little bit, and he dropped into that role just between the lines, between their midfield and defence. He tore them a new arse, or I thought he was absolutely fantastic in that second half there. And I think the subs really, really helped, but I think it also helped the fact that, although they were 1-0 up, we'd made them work yeah, and we work had. and work and work. And on about 55, I said to me, mate, I said, lad, they look knackered already. A couple of times around and then, William kicked one out for a corner, like, under no pressure. Then another lad another let it go for a throw-in under no pressure. And I said... Got 40 minutes this left, there's just no way that yeah. they can keep that going. And as you say, when you bring Nunes on, whether whether he's whether he's doing something good or doing something maybe not so good, he's doing something. Yeah, <laughs> you've always got to deal with him, haven't you? <laughs> you've always got to stay switched on to him. And most of the time, it's two of them that have got to do it. Yeah. So if two of them are doing that, Josh is just going, yes, this is all I needed. Little half a yard of space with a few people in army. And so Nunes has brought everybody else's game up, so fair play to him. Yeah. YouTube Press the button, become a member of the Anfield Wrap from the heart of the city of Liverpool. The best way to enjoy all your Liverpool-based videos, everything you need, every single day, it is the Anfield Wrap.